uh, this video is to give you an idea of what are the average USMLE scores that are typically required for residency by residency directors uh, this is an average so I'm gonna show you guys uh, the website where you can get access to this information um, and also what the mean score is and what I mean by mean score I will try to explain that because some people don't understand uh, what an average score might actually mean before they start panicking but the first thing I want you to do is um, go on uh, your Internet Explorer or Firefox and type in right here www.nrmp.org and this is actually the National Resident Matching Program this website basically gives you the information you need for the match when you start applying for residency but the uh, which is where you have to apply for the ERAS uh, but the most important thing we're talking about today is the uh, where the information is where you can get access to this uh, info so you click on residency match and this page comes up and on your left hand side if you scroll down you can see data and reports you click on that and here comes the data these are the normal data reports that are actually usually released every year as you can see this are the result and data of 2010 uh, match main residency match uh, what you want to do and they also have it by state and specialty and by applicant you can download all these PDF documents for free so you can actually get a good idea you know, how much people apply to a program how much they accept what were their average board scores but the most important I think was most helpful was uh, this chart and outcomes in, uh, for the match so it gives you by uh, each uh, resident residency so uh, if you click on this You'll be able to download, and uh, you'll be able to download a link, which will pop up. Actually, uh, but before I actually move on to that, I want you to be able to go on this website, Future Teaching Physicians. That is my website, and you can actually directly access it. Uh, this website actually was designed for all medical students across the United States, so you can join. You can publish articles. Uh, you can read a lot about us. Uh, there's a lot of things for about the uh, different lectures that we post on videos for your uh, use, and you can see here metabolic acidosis. Um, so you can go on this website. Uh, you just go straight to uh, medical students USML step one, and I've actually posted a sample of the average USML scores. As you can see right here, so anesthesiology, you see these bar lines? Uh, they show you a range of what the board scores you should expect should be. So as you can see here, anesthesia will be between around 2, 11 to 12 ish, right to about 237 to 36. So that will be the range of numbers people who want to apply to anesthesia. And this is for 2000 that applied for the 2009 anesthesia. And the average score is about 222-ish. Um, as you can see, the further you go, there's a lot more competitive residences like dermatology. You know, students applying for this kind of residency are looking at board scores above, you know, 250 and slightly, you know, about between 235-ish range. But the average of people who are applying are within the 244 242 range and this is actually a very good uh, graph because if you apply for residence you kind of want to have a good idea uh, what numbers they're looking at people don't usually tell you but as you can see this is for United States seniors and these are independent applicants um, the most important thing you want to know uh, as you can see here the more competitive the residencies, the higher up in the graph you can see. So, like neuro neurological surgery, of course, you expect to be competitive. Orthopedic surgery will be very competitive. Uh, Otholaryngology, a very competitive residency. Same thing as plastics. Um, transitional year is the year where, um, if you don't match into the uh, a residency, you have to do a transition year. 
whereby uh, you have to reapply for the match. Um, so you can see pediatrics. Internal medicine has a wide range of numbers, depends on what uh, residency you're applying to. If you're applying to a highly competitive, unless you want to go to Hopkins or Harvard, obviously you want to get a really, really good score because they are one of the best uh, internal medicine residents in the country, so people are applying with 240s. Uh, but you can always get into internal medicine with a, you know, uh, like a 210 within that range, even lower than that if possible. It depends on which residency you're applying for. Uh, be aware that these are all averages, so people that get even lower scores to get into these residencies. So even if you get a lower score, you shouldn't be discouraged. But I would encourage if you get like a 190, uh, thinking you want to apply for dermatology, because as you can see, the people that are applying for these uh, residencies are very competitive. Um, I mean, also, if you're an independent applicant, you know, your average is a little bit higher. So you want to make sure you do really, really well in these board exams. Um, and if you want to do family medicine, obviously, the expected board scores is not as high, um, you know, compared to other, like, more competitive residency. Um, you can see the USMLE scores. The average overall is 224 and a standard deviation of 19.6. What that means is if you subtract 19.6 from... Um, uh, 224.3 which will be around let's see uh, 16 I said it's 20 about 204 if you roughly like if you round it up to 20 uh, like 204 that would be your lowest and also uh, your highest score will be around 244 so that's a bit within the range of what people score so that's a standard deviation is like you plus or minus 20, you know, in between that range, and the average is like 225. So you could be higher or, or lower. Uh, independent applicants' board scores are within 211, plus or minus 17.19.7. Uh, this is actually no more accurate. The passing score right now is 189, and the two digit score is 175. As you can see, this is for 2009 uh, chart and outcome. For this year, it's already 189, and you can be able to find it on the USMLE website. Now, if you go to uh, USMLE.org, you should be able to find this. So, let's see, USMLE.org, and um, click on step one, and you'll be able to give you information regarding what the new passing score is. Obviously, it's changed a little bit. They have orientation materials here that you can use and download for your own format. Um, so, so I, you know, I would encourage you to go on this website, and uh, it'll be able to give you a lot more information. I'm just trying to see if we can find where the uh, uh, new information regarding each uh, the passing score for the exam is now, but it's definitely changed. So I wouldn't go by what you have uh, on the website here, especially what the scores on this website are. Uh, but I would very encourage students to make sure they do very well on these exams. So they're relatively and very challenging, uh, but if you put in enough work and effort, uh, you'll be able to do well. Um, I've actually published a book that's coming out soon and how to prepare for the USMLE. And this should help students, um, get international graduates, or people in the United States, um, to actually know how to take this test. If you have any questions, uh, you can contact me, and um, thank you. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you learned a lot. Are you studying for the USMLE Step 1 or Step 2? Are you studying for the NCLEX or you're currently in nursing school as a nursing student? Are you a PA student currently in school or studying for your PANS exam? Or are you a nurse practitioner student or trying to take your MP board exam? Listen, I've got super awesome content for you. If you truly love this video and it simplified your learning process, 
I want you to check out my website below. I've listed all the list of exams, whether you're studying for any of this board exam, and all I want you to do is click on the link right now below so that you can take you directly to my website. For USMLE, just go to smashusmle.com. For NCLEX, go to crushnclex.com. And if you're studying for the PANS exam, the nurse practitioner exam, or you're studying for your internal medicine board exam, just click below and it'll take you directly to ftplectures.com. Listen, I can't wait to help you. If you need to get in touch with me, just get to my website, you're able to reach me directly, and we can work together one-on-one. -on -one. Listen, you are super awesome, and my goal here is to help your dream come true. If you wanna be a doctor, wanna be a nurse practitioner, a registered nurse or physician assistant, I'm here to help you get to that next level. With your medical knowledge, let's save the world together. I love you guys. You guys are super awesome. And do not forget to click on the link below to be able to get to my website. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You guys have a great day. Let's go.